What's going on, guys? Chase, Ghost Picks Against the Spread, ghostpicksats.com, coming to you for June the 18th, 2018, Monday. Hope everyone had an amazing weekend and an even better Father's Day. All the fathers out there, um, hope you had a wonderful Father's Day. Um, you know, as I said yesterday, it's a very important job being a father. It's the most rewarding thing that um, I've ever been blessed to do in my life and that I will continue to do and uh, make sure that that is you know, I mean, this is great, but my number one um, strive and uh, goal in life is to make sure that no matter how many things I am successful in doing in life, which everything I do, I want to be successful, but my number one goal is to be successful as a father, day in and day out. If everything else were to fail and I'm successful as a father, at the end of the day, guess what? I've won and um, I have no complaints. So, Anyway, it was an odd weekend um, for myself and I think um, the handicapping world and uh, some of my uh, fellow brothers here at Ghost Picks, um, but not a uh, overall terrible, terrible day on Sunday. Just strange things happen. I told you in yesterday's video that some weird things are going on with the Washington Nationals and I'm going to continue to pick apart that team and um, I broke down Sunday's game very in depth. I spent an hour and a half on that game in general. And um, if you'd have looked at all the numbers, everything pointed to the Nationals. Anybody that had the Nationals was on the right side of the game. But in the back of my mind, I said, something's going to happen. Something's going on with this team. And they gave up the game again late. So I'm glad I had no play in that one. But nevertheless, um, my free play yesterday was on the Houston Astros run line, which was my top tier. That was your Father's Day gift for everybody that's not on my premium card or my top tier plays. I wanted to um, give all of my subscribers and followers and viewers um, a nice little Father's Day gift. I even told you in the premium that is a big, big, you know, in the video that is a big, big premium right there. Um, I did not tell you it's a top tier and a free play. If it, you know, I don't, I don't put out top tiers in videos uh, very often. It's very few and far between that I ever do that, but. Um, I did tell you it was a big, big premium. So I hope everybody jumped in and cashed down on that with uh, Houston um, having a nice run line cover there for the top tier winner. Um, as well as my other, my second biggest play of the day being on the Colorado Rockies over. I'm sorry, I'm sunburnt, man. Did some more coaching this weekend and uh, just spent some time outdoors on Sunday with my kids. I've spent so much time capping games and just being so involved. Um, as I do every day, but this weekend in general, um, I was so glued to so many things that after all of my games had finally started on, um, on Sunday, the ones that I had plays in, um, I shut everything down and, and focused my attention where it matters most. And, uh, we got out there, I went and coached a game and then, um, just spent some time outdoors, went swimming with my kids and, um, sunscreen helps. I'm just going to say that. Sunscreen helps, and I am, I am stubborn when it comes to it. But, um, yeah, as you can see, see where I wore my sunglasses. But, anyway, uh, top-tier winner, Colorado Rockies, over 9.5. They scored, I think, 25 runs. Easy, easy. Um, Yankees did not cover the run line, which really surprised me. Their, their bullpen did not do what their bullpen usually does, and that really surprised me. The Pittsburgh um, – you know, they, they they started off good early, and then they kind of went down, and they started to come back, and then it was just one bad inning that uh, gave a, a low money line play right there, a loss, and then the Diamondbacks gave it up very late to a shitty, shitty Mets team, a team that could be beaten by the Baltimore Orioles, in my opinion. They're not worse than the Baltimore Orioles, but they could easily be beaten by them because they're not far from the Baltimore Orioles in it as far as the way they're playing. So anyway... Um, you know, not my greatest day, but I was very satisfied with the top tier winner and um, as well as the big overplay. And then in the WNBA, had two winners on uh, Phoenix, and we um, we had the Sparks as well, um, LA. So uh, two and zero in the WNBA. So overall, a winning day. There's not a lot of people on my WNBA package right now. I only have a handful of people um, because um, 
you know, I haven't promoted it as much. There are certain people that, you know, that love getting involved in WNBA and some people that just stay off of it. Guys, if you're interested in the WNBA and making some easy money in basketball while uh, the NBA and college basketball is in their off season, jump on some WNBA plays. I'm going to run a special for Monday. You want my entire uh, WNBA season, $3.99. And that's what you'll get it for. Three hundred ninety-nine bucks will give you um, every play that I release in the WNBA uh, for the remainder of the WNBA regular season. Uh, there is not plays every day. Some days there are you know multiple games going on, and I lay off. Um, you know I've got somebody on my team um, that has many years experience in the WNBA, um, and with my basketball knowledge and his experience in the WNBA. It makes for a great team and a winning team nonetheless. So if that's something you're interested in, 399 bucks Monday only will get you every play that I release for the regular season in the WNBA. Completely up to you if that's something that you're interested in. Um, if you're already on one of my packages, MLB, <clears throat> or anything like that, um, call and talk to Jimmy. He may work something out for you to add that to the package that you're on if you're already on an MLB season package or things like that. So overall a winning day, but... Um, MLB was not the greatest day. MLB was not a great weekend, but we're going to bounce back and have what's going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal week. I've had a top-tier game circled on Monday's card since Tuesday of this past week. So six days now, going into Monday, I've had this game circled as something that I have been looking at. Um, the pitching that I was hoping would come through based on you know middle relievers and relievers and the way the starters happen and making sure that nothing got shifted as of what I'm seeing right now everything's going to fall into place exactly the way that I wanted it to so um, we'll dig deeper into that as the day goes on and as long as it goes through the way I want it to um, I've got a big big top tier play you want my top tier play $99 on the website go in um, sign up there or call Jimmy and tell me you want Chase's top tier play for Monday it's going to be a big one and then I'm going to give a um, um, a nice uh, premium free play out today, but first let's go over the contest. So had a contest yesterday, Cubs and Cardinals. Tell me the number of hits they were going to have, and then uh, as a tiebreaker, what team would have the most hits? So Roger Farley, you were the winner. You had um, they had 14 hits, um, and it was 14 hits. That's what it was, brother. So congratulations, you won. You know the three options you have as far as signing up for. Um, myself and jimmy's packages um and, you know as the duo again that's what the customers want and we're giving it to them so roger drop your email um in the comments right there and um i will get to you and tell you how to go about claiming um that discount and promotion um just in case for some reason he did not um robbie pride more you came in second place you had 13 runs you were the closest um, to Roger, so just in case Roger would, you know, does not want to sign up for it, um, Robbie Pridemore, go ahead and drop your email in the comments below as well, and um, and uh, just in case Roger doesn't go through, I'll contact you if that happens, and I will extend it to you. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we go through all this time and effort to do a contest and do a promotion like that. I want to make sure I extend it to somebody. So there's uh, Roger. You were the winner. Uh, Robbie, you came in second place. Both of you guys drop your emails there. Roger, if you want it, it's yours. If not, and uh, Roger, you do decline it. Robbie, I'll be reaching out to you so you can jump on um, one of the three promotions that I put out there. And if you don't remember it, we'll go over it through a conversation later on. So anyway, let's jump into um, a free pick winner. And guys, um, I haven't checked all the records for yesterday. I do know for a fact Jack, Jack hit his top tier on the um, the Red Sox, and I do believe uh, Derek hit his top tier as well. Jimmy and I have a conference call later on. We'll go over what his record was. Jimmy's killing it every day, so not worried about that at all. <clears throat> all the guys are killing it, as always. Go check out Jack's video, Jimmy's video, Derek's video. Show them some love, support, like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends, tell them to jump on with the whole Ghost Picks team. If you don't want to jump on with one of my packages and start winning with me, jump on with one of my brothers and make sure you start winning with them. You will not be disappointed no matter who you go with. All right, taking up a lot of your time. I got a lot of work to do to get plays out for today. Not a huge card, uh, but I'm finding value nonetheless, so we're going to make it a big day. Um, let's jump into a, um, let's jump into a uh, premium free play. Milwaukee Brewers. So... Milwaukee Brewers are putting Chase on the mound. 
All right, six and one overall for the year. 3.83 ERA, not a bad ERA at all, very impressive. Um, but on the road, he's 4-0, a little bit worse ERA, 4.08 ERA, but 4-0 nonetheless on the road. Now he's going up against Williams. He's got a 5-4 and four record with a 4.83 ERA, ERA total for the season. But you're looking at the Milwaukee Brewers, who are still leading the National League Central, and they're a hot team. They know how to get on base. Their bullpen is phenomenal. Second best in all the National League Central. Some people might call them the first. They're the second best. The Chicago Cubs, in my opinion, have the best bullpen in all the National League Central. So you're talking about two National League Central teams here that are going up. One that's starting to climb the ladder again. But ultimately, these are teams that are heading in two different directions. And the Milwaukee Brewers are heading the right one. Like I said, go back and watch videos from two months ago. I said no, the Milwaukee Brewers, if they are not in the postseason, they will be playing spoiler alert and possible wild card at the end of it. Milwaukee's tearing things up right now. Great bullpen, great starting lineup, great on-base percentage. Their starting rotation isn't too shabby either. So, Chasen and Williams, I love Chasen in this spot. On the road, he's got a great record, and we're getting it at minus 135 on the money line. I love it. I love it. Um, it opened up a little bit higher, and it immediately dropped to minus 135. Uh, I believe that's a little bit of sharp money coming in to drop it as low as they possibly can to come in and pound the Brewers. They're late to get better value. I will take the Milwaukee Brewers all day long in this situation home or away, but being that the pitching the way it is, the road, I think, favors them just a little bit more. Milwaukee Brewers minus 135 on the money line is your free play for Monday, and that is a premium play. That is a premium play that made my premium card, um, so hammer that. It is not my top-tier play. Um, unless something drastically changes, my top tier play will be in another game. Uh, we'll watch that throughout the day before I release it just to make sure everything that I've been watching for the past week comes to fruition just the way that I thought that it would. So, anyway, guys, hope you had a great weekend, great Father's Day. Happy belated Father's Day um, to anybody that didn't see my video yesterday and is just seeing it. Um, fatherhood is the greatest experience in the world. And uh, so every, I hope all the fathers out there, single mothers out there, um, it was your day too. So, anyway... Happy belated Father's Day, Monday, June the 18th, 2018. The Milwaukee Brewers, minus 135 on the money line. Jump on my top tier play for $99 today. If you want to, you know, you want something customized for you, call Jimmy. Uh, get linked up with him. He'll set you up something personable, you know, personal with me that will help you build that bankroll based on what you are looking for and, um, and what you can afford. Um, check out Jack, Derek, Jimmy. Check out all my brothers at Ghost Picks. Um, Roger Farley, drop your uh, your email below. And Robbie Pridemore, drop your email below. One of you two will be getting linked up with uh, the Demon Duo, Chase and Jimmy. We're back at it again, um, and it will be the package, one of the three that I listed. Excited to have one of you guys on board. Guys, let's go out there and kill it this week. Make it positive. As always, drop a comment below. Any questions you have, chase.ghostpicksats at gmail. Go to ghostpicksats.com to sign up for anything. Guys, hope you're having a fantastic week. Uh, to all my brothers out there at Ghost Picks, hope you guys kill it this weekend as well. Make sure you go show some, you know, show my guys some love. Jimmy, the owner and CEO of Ghost Picks, the hardest working man that I know. Um, Jack, Derek as well. We all put in more time than you could ever imagine on this. So we appreciate all the love and all the support as always. And number one, guys, as always, the best of luck.